You see, Butch, let me talk to you about Brooklyn because let me tell you something. There has to be something in the water there. I mean, just so, so many greats came out of that borough. I don't care whether it's sports, the arts, literature, you name it, we have it in spades. And now a new one that I came across actually last year. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. John Mark Menzion. He's a, a staff writer for Bowl.com. A young kid that uh, I have fingernails I just grew recently that are older than him. But anyway, uh, growing up in Brooklyn and going into some of the bowling alleys uh, like uh, Rainbow, Lee Mark, Maple, he, he found out something about the action bowling era from the 60s and it started to grow on him. It was like uh, uh, the smoke in the air that got under his skin and he couldn't get it out, <laughs> for lack of better words. Uh, and uh, he started to hear the stories from uh, Joe Santini, uh, Richie Hornrack, and it fascinated him, totally fascinated him. Later on, uh, he became a, uh, a staff writer for Bowl.com, fantastic, fantastic site about bowling. And he kind of had to put uh, the action bowling on the side and uh, really pay attention to his job. All of a sudden, though, just a couple of years ago, it came to him. But wait a second. There's nothing being written about the legends, about the greatest bowlers from that era that went from, uh, uh, went from bowling alley to bowling alley, hustling in a whole metropolitan area. And he decided, he decided, well, he uh, had found my site, actionbowlers.com, and I think it gave him an idea of who, where, and how to contact some, some of these greats from the past, which he did. He did it in spades, let me tell you. And uh, he's already written some articles uh, uh, from interviews that he's done with, uh, with Richie Hornreich, with Mike Lemangelo, Jeff Kidder, I mean some of the biggest, the monsters of the game. And uh, what he's doing right now is uh, putting together a book for the last few years, uh, bringing out what truly fantastic characters they were. The era, the feel, and the smell of it, I mean, I mean this, this kid's a fantastic writer. And uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, he'll get a motion picture deal out of this, uh, and the whole world will get to know what I experienced, <laughs> what he didn't, what he didn't experience firsthand, and that's his one regret in life that he can't go back in time. But uh, from where where he sits, where he sits at his desk, he's doing a fantastic job. He's doing something for action bowlers that nobody's ever done before.